Well, let's get started on the blocking process. We're gonna need our beaver hide, water spritzer, staple gun, and a razor knife. I'm gonna start by getting a nice beaver. This is all commercial tanned. And check it over for any flaws or imperfections and whatnot. Then you're gonna start by spritzing it all down. Get around the leg hole, good. Then just kind of wrap it up and let it sit for a bit. Absorb a little moisture. And then I have one here that I did about 20 minutes ago. He's all rehydrated. He's not wet, he's damp, but he'll stretch back out. And then you staple it out and then he'll dry back into your shape you want so you get the most most out of your instead of having a round now we're gonna be more square and I like to take the razor knife and cut each leg hole open you can use scissors but Scissors cut the hair, where's the knife? All that it's cutting is just the leather. You can get a furrier knife. I just use these razor knives with you can interchange the blades on them and they're cheap and then there everything's cut now the next part is to staple them out if you feel any spots that are a little bit dry still maybe give them a quick little shot at this point But that's there. Well, there are the beaver. He's all ready to be stretched out, shaped out. I don't use very long staples just so they're easier to pull out after but there you kind of get the idea he's more square than round now so when the patterns all sit on here nicely a couple hours he'll be dried up and can start on uh tracing patterns out there's 
the first step, blocking.